Okay, we're about to get started on the last uh, 2012 Volkswagen Jetta with a 2.5 liter uh, inline 5. And uh, we've got a check engine light here going on. And, uh, go on here and put my OBD2 reader in. And uh, I'm going to go over here to my left market radio I have here that gives me the ability to run different stuff. And the port. And connect to the OBD2. Uh, here goes all the cages. Alright. Now, under here to settings, fuck codes, show fuck codes. There. We've got two fuck codes here the P2402 and that. Operative emission system leak detect pump control circuit high. And from my research, I uh, found a little module in the back that needs to be changed. So we'll be doing that. Of course, you could go right here and go to the website and it'll take you to. Uh, tells you a little bit more about it. Volkswagen Jetta, it's 2012, it's giving us the emission uh, leak pump uh, code in the bar, and uh, yeah, it looks like a fairly simple fix, it's just going to take a little bit to get to it, you got to remove the rear tire and part of the uh, rear inner fender. So, then the part's pretty easy to change. Uh, so we're going to get in there and we're going to take care of that. And uh, hope y'all enjoy. Uh, it'll be fun. Let's go. these off. Anyway. I'm hanging a dandy stool out here. Well, this one does. That doors. Yeah, I would have taken that too much. Okay. 
here. Close pretty easy. Safety. Inside this, there's supposed to be a little fault in there. Oh. This fender well out, partially out, we'll pull it to the side and we'll get up in there. So we have a dirt driveway. Thank you. 
you know, the little white thing up there. That's what we gotta get to. That's when I would like to have a lift. Of course, all that dirt been in my eyes. It was falling. Camera pointed straight up there. Get down here on the ground. Take off without doing that too many times. Let's get down here. Give it a second. Dirty. Better your eyes than mine. I'll keep y'all clean.
paint off of a wheel lived up inside there. Now that happens. You can calm down. Got it out. Fortunately, I couldn't get the camera up there and get a light so I could see what was going on. But there's a the hose. It goes on right there, and it's not clamped on or anything. It just slides over. So you get that hose off, and then uh, let's see if we can get in there. That cable. Cable that was we unplugged earlier attaches to the bracket. You just pop that just pops off, and uh, so now we gotta get this. Take these three screws off, and that piece comes off. All right, hold on. Some kind of weird little thing you push in there. Oh. Uh, supposedly that is what caused the problems. Okay. Here's the part I'm replacing a wash. I think that's what they say is original. There's the information on it. Right. And I got this off of Port's Gate. Local places. dollars uh, to get it. One place said they would have to order it and they weren't sure how much it was. Uh, this was 50 something dollars, 52, I'm not, sure, I'm not positive on that. But a bit cheaper on parts D is Bosch. It came in on Saturday. I mean Thursday. This is Thursday, I don't remember. But it didn't take long. I don't figure out. It comes back in there and plug everything back into it. Alright, we'll put you up underneath there. Put a little dirt in your eye. It actually kind of helps me. Because I can use y'all to see what I'm doing by getting dirt in my eye. Alright, here we go. It makes you feel like, like you're doing the work.
Uh, yeah, you can probably see that hose. Let's go on there. Got the hose on, had it in position. Now, the nuts back on. Yeah, that's the nuts back on. Out and see if that clears the code. Uh, code use comes back pretty quick. And, uh, hopefully, that took care of our problem. I like having wheel bolts and not wheel studs. One hub, so you got wheel with concentric hub. You just set the wheel up on there, and then you rotate it around. So just rotate it around until those line up. Super simple. Instead of having to try to line up all five, you just uh, line up one bill and you rotate it around while it's hanging up there. Makes it real simple, I think. Wash up my hands for we completely finish this project. We'll check out the, the check engine light, make sure it's good, and we'll be done. All right, so Jack and Jack stands out of here. Okay, there's the check engine said anything yet so it's still showing up. We'll go over here to our bill. Alright. Fault cold. Fault colds. Or to say for me. For show. Sure. Fault colds. I'm gonna keep saying it. Front of me, there's a two codes there. And we're going to clear them. And yes, we've done the work, so clear it. Over here, it's not there. We'll give it a 
quick little test drive and we'll see if they come back up and I'll give you all an update whether or not they came up or not. So hopefully they won't. Alright. Okay, we're back at the house. Take it for a short little test drive and cleared up all the lights for now. Hopefully they won't be coming back on. We won't know for a few days whether or not they're gonna come on or not. Of course you can tell. That's my wife. Wife's car. Wonder Woman. Anyway, y'all have a good one. Take it easy. Work on something. Enjoy it. Bye.